Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hello everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. In recent days, Air France and Qantas announced that they were bringing back their co-chair agreement. But what does this mean exactly? Before I begin with the explanation, let's just discuss the news at hand. Essentially, Qantas has reinstated a co-chair agreement with Air France. The main reason this is noteworthy is this code share agreement was actually dropped six years ago when Qantas forged a global alliance with Emirates. The changes that will be made with this code share agreement are quite extensive, so I'll be placing annotations on the majority of the video to hopefully make it that little bit easier to understand. Essentially, under this new agreement between Qantas and Air France, Qantas will add its QF airline code on Air France's daily non-stop flights, which run between Charles de Gaulle, located in Paris, and Singapore and Hong Kong. On the Air France side of things, they'll be placing their airline code AF on Qantas flights from Singapore to Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, and Perth, and on top of that, Hong Kong to Brisbane, Melbourne, and Sydney. It actually doesn't stop there either. The French carrier will also code share on a number of domestic flights within the Qantas network. The routes are as follows, Sydney to Adelaide, Canberra, Cairns, Darwin and Hobart. While I've listed quite a large number of routes right now, the number of code share flights between the two airlines is actually estimated to be at around 200 flights per week. This depends heavily on the time of year, as you may be aware that in peak periods flights will usually increase. As I mentioned in my Why Do Airlines Join Alliances video, code share agreements usually offer frequent flyers with the airlines great experiences and opportunities. This code share agreement will mean that eligible Air France and Qantas frequent flyers will now have access to each other's premium passenger lounges. These airport lounges are located in the following, Australia, Paris, Hong Kong and Singapore. A huge plus for any frequent flyer. Qantas International Chief Executive Alison Webster has said that this new code share between the two airlines gives customers now another option to get to Paris through Asia while still earning frequent flyer points. In a statement, she continued on to say, The return of this popular code share delivers on our strategy of partnering to provide customers with access to an expanded network and more seamless travel experiences wherever they want to fly. Ultimately, the new agreement is a huge plus for travellers and further improves the network of Qantas and Air France. Personally, I think any code share agreement is fantastic. Of course, the combination does actually need to be right for it to ultimately work, and I do believe this certainly has the potential to work again. What are your thoughts on the new code share? Feel free to let me know by dropping your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd like to take the time now to thank you very much for watching this video of mine and I look forward to you all joining me in the next one.